I don't even know where to start, uh, but I just witnessed one of the greatest games of football I have ever seen in my life. Uh, so what's going on guys? It's JJ here back with another Champions League reaction video. Uh, the Liverpool Porto one will be dropping tomorrow, but we're going to focus all of our attention on this Manchester City Tottenham game because this match was mind blowing. So, so let's get right into the video because I don't want to waste any time. Let's, let's get right into the video. As well guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. Oh, let's do this. That for a first goal, for a first goal, that's how you knew this game was going to be right off the bat intense, is Sterling curled that, he curled that ball in, in four minutes, it took four minutes to kick this game off, oh, oh, it's just majestic, there's nothing Hugo Lloris can do to stop it, and it's, oh, but that's, it's not the end. It's not over yet. Uh, this, this was unlucky. Uh, I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible luck, if you could call it that. But it's still... Guys. Let the goals rain in. Let them rain in. This, oh, this effort, this, son, you mid. Take a bow, take a, take a bow, son, take a bow, because that is, he, he just, he, no shame, he had no shame in that, whatsoever, is, is, yeah, is, it, it was effortless, it look, he made it look effortless as well, oh, yeah, Bernardo Silva as well, you can have some as well, have some as well, son, have some as well. Have some as well. As, like this game. This game. <coughs> this game. It took my breath away. The entire game was just mad action. And you think it's over? You think it's? You think the goal on slot is done? No, nope, it's not done. It's never done. Sonny Min was terrorizing them in the beginning of this game. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it finally settled down, but it didn't really, so... I thought Victor Munyama, on several occasions, could have gotten a red card in this game. I was a little surprised that he didn't get anything earlier. If you if you get my drift, I do feel like once Sissoko left this game, uh, Tottenham were exposed. They, they were big time exposed. I have I've yet to look at the match stats for this game. Uh, oh, just that and Sterling goal. They, he makes the easiest goals, but he runs in the right position, so he, like he makes up for whatever goals he puts in. Everyone else in that situation was offside. And somehow De Bruyne... Can I just say, Kevin De Bruyne put in probably the best attacking midfield performance I've ever seen in my life. I've ever seen. It was unbelievable. It, every single ball he touched turned to gold. And, and it's it's upsetting. It's upsetting that City are out simply for the fact that I think they were they were the better team. I think overall in the tie, it's just Pep Guardiola messing up the first leg sort of ideals that he had messed up the whole tie. Him him not starting his best lineup in the first leg came back to bite him. It really did. That was unlucky. That was also unlucky. Llorente, he, he should have had a chance. He should have had a better chance. He should have shot. He should have used it. Used his chance. Um, I think this turn from yeah. Oh, they didn't show the turn from De Bruyne, but the fact that he did all of that to assist Aguero. De Bruyne is so good. He's so fucking good. And they made oh my goodness, guys. I, I was not, I did not have a stake for either team in this game, and my heart was a million miles a minute, the entire game, the entire game. Uh, near post, getting beat like that, that kind of sucks. That does suck. <sighs> Tottenham winning the second corner. Oh, the VAR on this. I, I was, I was dumbfounded by this goal. I'm not going to lie to you. This was dumbfounding to me. 
uh, simply for the fact that, I, like, I, I don't know what, I thought it hit off Loris's forearm at first. There's an angle where it looks like it hits off his forearm and his hip at the same time, then off of Laporte's hand, and then into the net. Uh, that's all I can say, is that that was just dump bounding to me. This, this was just wild. We're, we're gonna we're gonna skip ahead just a bit. We're, we'll skip ahead just a bit because we know it's a goal. And, and we just, guys, 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 guys. This last five minutes of the game was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. This was so frantic. And Aguero, Aguero, why did you touch it? I was so happy. I was so happy for not not for Man City itself, just for Raheem Sterling. Cause what what this man has been through in his career for him to score the game winner like that, and for VAR to call it off. Oh, oh, guys, my emotions are still at ten. Uh, my heart is still beating, um, and I don't even care who won this game. It's now a Tottenham IX UCL semifinal. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. This was, without a shadow of a doubt, the greatest Champions League game I think I've ever witnessed. It's up there with probably the best singular game I've seen all year, hands down, probably in the last five years as well. Um, I, I, I'm having a hard time thinking of a game that was as good as this. The other one that comes to mind just as a Chelsea fan was the Chelsea Tottenham 2-2 game uh, in the 2015-16 season was it? or 20 yeah, 2015-16 when Leicester won the title off of the Eden Hazard goal. Uh, that was I I've, I've never yelled so loud. Um, but this this game was just a whole nother level. But let me know you guys' thoughts on this contest down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to watch this game. Liverpool Porto reaction will come out tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you once again so much for watching. Peace.